Hello, fire signs. Welcome back to my channel, Presence of the Goddess. Thank you guys for joining me today. Today is just going to be a quick reading for the fire signs. So if it resonates, awesome. I appreciate if you subscribe, like, and share to those who you think it resonate too. I appreciate you, tribe. <laughs> and if it does not resonate, you can check other placements in your chart. And if you want to book a personal reading with me, the link is down below per usual. And if you want to donate to the channel, it is highly appreciated. All right, tribe. So what I have for you is Psalms 5, a prayer for guidance. So you could definitely be uh, praying for guidance at this time. I feel like God is guiding you in the right direction. I feel like you're going to be getting a lot of mental clarity if you've been feeling confused about some situations. Uh, there was a lot of projections on you, placed on you by a lot of people. You could be realizing this and you could be differentiating your energy from others' energy at this time. So you're realizing like, oh, that's not my energy, but this is my energy. So yeah, it's like a lot of beautiful energy that is being restored within you because you're realizing this. I'm also getting like a lot of people see it. A lot of people see you glowing. A lot of people see your beautiful soul here. It goes beyond the eyes is what I'm hearing. I'm hearing the eyes are the window of the soul. So something about your eyes, something innocent, or like a lot of people see a lot of truth, a lot of God in your eyes, like very godly here. All right, you could be a goddess or a god. Okay, yeah, because you're exuding that king, that queen energy. You have re you have uh, regained your throne again. You're realizing who you are is the energy I'm getting. You could definitely be um, reading up on your past life here. This could even be like you reading up on your south node. You're realizing that um, you're clearing up a lot of karma, karmic energy, a lot of karmic drama. You could have even um, ended up some type of Saturn energy, like your Saturn cycle has ended or something like that. Yeah, you could be 29. That's the energy I'm getting. Something could be happening on a Friday or some huge change is happening. Um, you could have Taurus placements. That's the energy I'm getting as well. Something about your beauty. You could have a beauty business, but I feel like a lot of people are drawn to your energy. They're drawn to your beauty. Something about love as well. A lot of people are in love with you, okay? And this doesn't even have to be intimate. I just feel like people are just in love with your vibe. You're a vibe. Yeah, you could be seeing 555, 515, or 510 a lot. Somebody's birthday could be May, May the 10th, May 15th, or something that's connected to you. Or something happened on the moon cycle in May. Like, yeah, that's the energy. You may want to check out your camera roll. But I have prayers has been heard and being answered. Yeah, God got your back because my back started itching. So God got your back because a lot of people could have been trying to stab you in the back here. But yeah, things are happening the way they should, though. So, like, God wants you to know that everything is divinely orchestrated. Everything is in divine order. Uh, 222, you could be seeing a lot, but I feel like you're on the right path here. If you've been questioning that, I'm hearing Discovery. You could be watching the Discovery channel, something about a pray. So somebody could have been praying on you. Somebody could be um, a molester or something. So somebody's going to jail that was touching on children. Okay? If it's not touching on children, somebody was being physically abusive to children. Okay, I'm hearing somebody was hiding somebody in a room for a year. Okay, I even read up an article like that. I don't know why that popping up in this energy here. So somebody could definitely be treating someone like a like imprisoning someone, like a child. Hmm. Or that somebody could have done this to you. So somebody was trying to shelter you, even if it's not to that extreme. Somebody was trying to shelter you. A parent was on purpose. Because they didn't want you to go out in the real world and be successful. If it's not a parent, it's definitely a, a, an authority figure. Okay? I'm also getting like somebody could be definitely getting arrested here. Something going on with a school here. Somebody's like a teacher or somebody didn't want you to be a teacher. Somebody didn't want you to go to school to learn. But because you're very smart, I'm getting Lucy energy on the movie Lucy. You have a lot of unlocked knowledge. You get a lot of downloads. You understand a lot of things. You're too smart for your own good. You could have heard a lot when you were growing up. But you're so smart because you're chosen. So everything happened for a reason. God put a veil over you to protect you from this, these toxic people. 
And these could be older people that were trying to project and belittle you. They could even got other children to belittle you and attack you. It's really sad. I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I feel the energy of sadness. It's like, you didn't do nothing. And they did this since you were a child. Like, why? They saw something in you since you were a child. I have Garden, SZA. SZA by Garden. Uh, SZA song, Garden. So, tell me where I come from. Can you remind me of my... Remind me of my something. That's you're being reminded of a lot of things, or you're learning a lot of things that happened in your past that you may didn't realize, and you're like, "Wow, it's really a sad." A, you were really supposed to be a sad child, but through all this sadness, you were still a happy child. Somebody didn't like that. Somebody didn't expect you to still be happy through all the sadness they were trying to put you through. They were trying to put you put you through hell. But you're about to, your garden is growing. Your garden is growing. You could definitely have a garden at this time. But um, somebody's coming in towarding your garden. So somebody, there's a lover coming in that's going to love you the way you've never been loved. If you have children, they're going to love your children too. Because I feel like somebody's insecure about their their children like they're like oh well who's gonna love me and my kids you could have a lot of kids or maybe you have a lot of responsibility and you feel like nobody's gonna love you because nobody ever loved you like you know what i'm saying like you should have been loved but you're ending a lot of karmic cycles you're ending a lot of hurt and a lot of pain okay because a lot of ancestors are like they got your back i see somebody with a machete oh yeah is up in here <laughs> There's a grandmother that might, you may need to watch that reading because your, your ancestors don't play about you. They all have your back. I'm seeing somebody at the basketball court. So this could definitely be you. Somebody could definitely be a basketball player or somebody's into sports or somebody knew that if you were into sports, you were going to be, you were going to get a scholarship or somebody purposely made you lose a scholarship. Okay. That's for somebody. But I feel like also this could even be your lover. If you're a divine feminine, my nose keep itching. So somebody's all in your business here. Somebody's all in your business. They're trying to figure out what you're doing right now. Because maybe you're like, God got you hidden right now. Because he knows that you're almost at the finish line. And like these people know that you're almost at the finish line. And they don't want you to be at the finish line here. They want to destroy that. So they're trying to see what's going on with you. But God got you hidden for a reason. Yeah, I have mediumship here. So you could definitely be um, a medium. You could definitely talk to spirits. And I feel like you've been doing this since you were a child. You could have had an imaginary friend. And I feel like um, like these authority figures or these, these adults were looking at you and was like, they saw you. Like, maybe you thought you weren't being watched while you were talking to your imaginary friend, which was your spirit gang. But you were being watched. You were being watched your whole life. You were never not watched. Okay, you could be getting gang stalked at this time because everybody knows you're chosen. You could have a platform at this time they're watching you. The government could be watching you. I'm telling y'all, this shit is real. When you wake up, you cannot go back to sleep. So you could definitely be having insomnia at this time as well. It's like you need to drink some lavender tea, some chamomile tea. You need to learn how to relax, like um, listen to like the ocean, the rain music, or some type of um, meditation music. You can even listen to money music while you sleep because that helps your subconscious make a lot of money. So you could be learning all of this. You could definitely be getting a lot of um, a lot of information from the other side. Okay, your ancestors telling you what to do and how to do it because they know that you're going to be prosperous, but you just need a little push. You could have lost. You could have lost connection with your uh, imaginary friends in the past because somebody purposely did that. They tried me, but ain't no such thing as really all along it was just spirit game. Somebody was trying to mess up your dreams. Somebody was spiritually attacking you. It's too much. It's too much. Like you ain't gotta do all that, baby. I feel like you don't have to do too much, and that's why somebody's really mad. Somebody wanted to steal your beauty. Somebody was doing beauty spells on you. That's why they really mad. Because they could never steal your joy. I have joy here. They could never steal your joy. You get a lot of downloads. Spirit game follows you everywhere you go. Can't nobody touch you. You might want to check that earth sign and read it out. Nobody can't touch you. And this was what this is why they really mad. 
They want to break you down so bad. They could have been trying to put you in jail. And it's so funny because so many skeletons in their closet about to fall out. But God is shielding you. You are very protected. I'm seeing that night movie by Martin for some reason. So you could definitely be meeting someone from the past life that's your lover here. Somebody who could be old school here. Somebody's going to teach you. Like, I'm hearing old dogs can't be taught new tricks. So somebody's going to be treat, teaching you some new tricks. Somebody's going to be treating you like a queen or a king. That you deserve to be treated. That you lacked in when you were a child. That these, purpose, these people purposely did to you. To belittle you. To make you feel like you were nothing. So you can turn to drugs. So you can go to jail. So you can be all these bad things. Because when you like, when your heart chakra closed, that's what you turn to. You turn to bad things. You might want to check out that uh, air sign reading or that water sign reading. Check them all out, baby. Because you are elements. You could definitely be an empress, a Capricorn energy here. You could definitely be a um, seagull. You're the goat, okay? Your hard work, your faith is paying off because God is not going to let up on you. Because you didn't let up on God. And this is why you're being protected. And you're being guided into a lot of good things. Your prayers are being answered here. Uh, expect a huge change happening on a Friday or just really on tourist season or something you was praying about in tourist season is coming into fruition now. Whatever you've been manifesting in tourist season is coming into fruition now. Yeah, because somebody was trying to create some type of falsehood, some type of illusion around you on purpose. Somebody could be a cannibalist. Somebody eat bodies. Oh. Somebody's a cannibalist. I believe this. Listen. But make sure you continue to meditate. Meditate in nature. Meditate alone. Meditate with music. Not just music, music, but like meditation music. Lakshi, Laksh, Lakshimi? Lakshmi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you could definitely be getting a lot of um, abundance. I'm seeing money fall. Okay, I'm seeing gold coins. You could be a Native American here. But I have a rebel because you're a rebel. You do your own thing. You don't do what other people do. You could definitely be an air sign, but you do your own thing. And this is why they really mad. Because you're not like them. They can't get connected with God the way you get connected with God. And this is why they were trying to destroy that for you. All right? But expect your prayers to be answered. You're being guided towards the prayer. So if something looks like it's something else, it's not. God had to take something away from you. God had to... What you thought was going to happen was not happening or not happening because God has another route for you to your another route for you garden scissor yeah remind me of my melody where i come from where i come from mm -hmm. yeah you need to listen to that song garden scissor by scissor it definitely has a lot of messages somebody's going to remind you like of who you are all the time they're going to reassure you that your love like god is bringing somebody that's that's him. That's like him. But in physical form, I'm getting Jesus energy. Somebody has a pure heart. A pure heart. Somebody is not, no ill intentions, no hidden motives. This person could be a tourist, but somebody is going to like teach you a lot. You're going to teach them a lot. They're going to be very humble. Because I feel like you, you dealt with a lot of people who was like flashy. And like, oh, I got this. I got that. And I feel like you're not that type of person. So it was kind of like you were looking at them like, I feel like somebody wanted you to, to get you back or to by what they had. Like, look at me and look at you. And it's like, you looking at them like, I don't give a damn. And I feel like it shocks them because... You don't, you're not attached to that stuff. You have a bigger purpose. Your mind is somewhere. That's why heaven is being open. The heaven gates are being open for you because you stay con connected to God and not to materialism. So, all right, guys, expect your prayers to be answered. And I love you guys. And I see you nothing but love, peace, and strength because you're going to get through whatever you're going through. Your prayers are being answered. Okay, guys, love you.